The beginning of Episode 7 and the ending featured something that was never seen before in the Star Wars universe, for that matter, Star Wars canon, and that is the Super Commandos, or what I call them the Beskar Stormtroopers, that attacked our Mandalorian clans. What was a shocking twist in the end, as our heroes are confronting the Super Commandos, they discover that there is a layer of Moff Gideon in Mandalore that has been developing Beskar alloy, Beskar armor, and much more in secret. While in the episode, we clearly see that the Super Commandos are wearing Beskar armor because same as the other Mandalorians, they kept getting hit but surviving the blaster bolts. This means that their Beskar alloy is doing their job. But when Moff Gideon talks with the Shadow Council at the beginning of the episode, nobody mentions his new original stormtroopers, his new quote-unquote army. This left the fans wondering, is this because the Imperial Remnant, Thrawn, and even later on Palpatine did not know really that Moff Gideon was secretly raising his own army through these what I think are clones, because remember, before we see these troopers, we actually see clone tanks that something genetically is being developed in secret by Moff Gideon. So is he creating a secret clone army for himself infused with Beskar armor? And he didn't really tell anybody about it. Pelion, Hux, or anybody else mentions these when they talk to Gideon. It is completely possible that Moff Gideon had it and wanted to usurp everything from Thrawn and the Remnants. It seemed like he didn't really respect Thrawn there, while talking to Pelion. So tell me what do you guys think down below in the comments and if you want to watch more videos like this, click any of them on the screen.